Hey there everyone, so here's uh, an update on the uh, aluminum versus steel soaking in ethanol. Uh, of course, uh, if you guys don't remember, this has actually been in here since uh, 8 16 of 08. So it's been in there for a minute or two, just to say the least. But uh, you know, this is just regular old mild steel. Um, yeah, I mean, it's been in there a number of years, right? Probably a little bit of water has gotten in there from the few times I've opened this guy and, and have uh, pulled it out to look at it. But obviously that's what it does to steel. Not anything too bad. Looks all surface, honestly. Don't see anything that's really, uh, certainly not eating it away by any means. Well, uh, I'll take a look at the aluminum. And again, this is just regular old aluminum. It's not anodized or anything like that. It was just a sheet of aluminum that I'd cut from some scrap that honestly I'd got from from Home Depot. Looks like a little bit of almost like a gel or something on there. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a little little jelly-like, but who knows what that's from. I've probably opened this thing maybe a dozen times in all these years, but there you go. There's the update. Uh, two pieces of metal, uh, just regular old mild steel and aluminum sitting in uh, pure ethanol. Uh, one thing to note, definitely, uh, you know, over the years it's kind of picked up a few contaminants. So, you know, if you've had yours sitting there for, what, I guess eight years now, uh, your fuel filter probably needs some work. But needless to say, uh, there you go.